Let's see what happens if the listener isn't right in front of the two speakers. In other words, the listener can be over here somewhere or over here. Now we have to look at what the sound waves look like, or at least what we can represent them. They both produce equal frequency waves, which means they have the same wavelength. The blue waves are coming from the top speaker and the violet waves are coming from the bottom. What does this look like? We actually did this in the last chapter. Well, one, they look like water waves. And also, what do you think is going to happen? Interference. Constructive interference occurs when two crests meet or two troughs meet, and there will be a loud sound at that spot. When a listener is located where there's destructive interference, the listener will hear little or no sound. So we've got two pictures here. Here's where you have the constructive interference, the red dots. The green dots here show where you have a maxima hitting a minima, so they cancel out, and you will hear no sound there. The red dots here are showing where the maxima and the minima of the two waves are in sync with each other. The green are halfway between, so that's going to be destructive interference. This is a real picture of interference going on, and it's a little tricky to understand, but if you've got your detection screen over here, wherever you see the white light, that's constructive, and wherever you have the black, that's destructive. And you can click here to see a simulation of that. The listener will then hear either a loud sound, that's where you had the maxima, or no sound at all, depending on the listener's angular position, theta 1, theta 2, relative to the horizontal line between the speakers. So if the listener's right here in the middle, here's a loud spot. He can hear it very nicely. Starts moving up, goes to no sound, then loud again, no sound, loud again, and it keeps repeating that pattern. 